Meanwhile, the Vail School District has a unique program that's hoping to attract staff and retain them, helping them out with a new home. Nine on your side's Andrew Christensen spoke with the teacher who tells him it's making all the difference. If home really is where the heart is, then Michaela Idris is in the right place. I really like this house and this community. It's a house where she can relax, but also get some chores done, and all while sticking to a budget. I really struggled looking around, trying to find a place to live. All the apartments and houses have huge either rents or mortgages. Only $775. That's what her rent and utilities cost. So when I found out about this, I was super excited to have the opportunity to live here. It's an opportunity unlike any other, because in this very neighborhood, these houses have a small secret. The size is really fun. It being a tiny home, it's fun to brag on saying, oh, I live in a tiny home. A tiny home with all the same appliances and features as a regular home. You have the washer there, you have the dryer, and then you also have your bathroom, and then you have this cool kitchen. Would you say there's anything different about living in a tiny home compared to living in a bigger house? I think the biggest difference is the closet size. A smaller closet, but she says it's a bigger opportunity. Since 2018, the students in the building trades instruction class at Sienega High School have been building these tiny homes, taking about 9 to 12 months to build. Idris's house is one of the four they've built, the district putting staff and teachers on a wait list to live in them. There are all other teachers and staff members who live around here, which is really fun to have that community. It's a community Idris has been a part of for years, going to school in Vail since kindergarten. I really love what Vail stands for. It's very inclusive and it's a family. A family she's going to stay in for years, in a house built by students from her very own high school. And I think they did a really great job and they learned a lot of valuable skills that they can continue to build on for the rest of their lives. Reporting near East Success Road in Vail, Andrew Christensen, Kega 9, on your side.